If you or your PC are struggling to stream to your main platform and TikTok at the exact same time, well, just got a whole lot easier. Thanks to the company ATEM, they actually made a brand new plugin that helps you make it so much simpler for you to stream to both your main platform and TikTok the exact same time. The craziest part is it's only using one version of OBS. So let's talk about it. So my name is Brandon or I'm B. Paul, and I'm gonna walk you through on how to actually download this, set it up, make sure your scenes are set up properly and make sure that you are able to stream on this at the exact same time. Now there will be timestamps below. However, I do highly recommend just watching the entire thing as there are some things you really need to know for each step as you go. So what I'm actually gonna be going over in this video is gonna be how to stream on TikTok. What is this brand new plugin? Some warnings you need to know before you actually download this and set it up. I'm gonna show you how to install it, set it up, and also I'm gonna teach you about the brand new playback recording feature that it actually adds into this, which is pretty freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and dive in. So how do you stream on TikTok? Well, to be completely honest, no one knows. <laughs> there is no set like how you get a stream key from TikTok, but one thing I do know is that if you have an agency representing you, you can actually get a stream key through there. For me personally, Pipeline was my agency that represents me, so that's how I got a stream key. If you don't see live room on TikTok, that means you do not have a stream key and you cannot stream live unless you do it from your phone. All right, now let's go and dive into what is this plugin. So this plugin is actually called Vertical and it comes from a company called Atem or Atem. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> this is how it's spelled. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Now I'm not gonna lie, this plugin is super simple to install and it basically gives you a vertical canvas inside of one version of OBS that will allow you to stream to TikTok completely separately. And the craziest thing about this that I've seen from testing is that it actually uses less resources than using either two versions of OBS or actually using TikTok Studio. When I was using two versions of OBS, I was using anywhere between 30 to 40% of my resources. While using OBS and TikTok Live Studio, I was using anywhere from 50 to 60% of my resources. With this new plugin, I'm only using 20 to 30% of my resources, which is actually insane. And the best part about this whole thing is that it's actually free. It is free to download and use. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome over to the stream setup where we're gonna show you how to set up the ATEM vertical plugin. Now, before we do this, there is a warning I need to give you. This only works with OBS 29 because there are certain features inside of OBS 29 that makes this possible. So keep in mind, you might have plugins in your current version of OBS that don't work with 29. So what I would do is I would either A, make sure you have the download install file for the old version of OBS. B, I would just make a copy of your entire OBS folder just in case something goes awry, you can just re-put it back in place and it will fix it and hopefully bring it back to normal. For instance, like me personally, I had to give up on stream effects to be able to get this, but honestly, I think this plugin is worth it. So let's go ahead and start installing it. All right, so first thing you wanna do is head on over to atem.tv. That way you can make sure you get the most latest up-to-date version of it. We're gonna go ahead and download that right now. Now, once you download it, just make sure you open that program. Now, once you open that download folder, it should go ahead and choose the default location where you installed OBS. If not, then make sure you find out the exact folder it is in, and then it will install in there. Click next, next, and install. Finish. That's it. You're done. You're good to go. No, I'm just kidding. All right, all right. Let's go and open up OBS now. All right, so now you see on my screen that I have my regular canvas, and then I have my vertical canvas over here. See at the top, it says vertical. Now there's also two other new sources over here where it says vertical scenes. And vertical sources so it's true you do have to make different scenes in there but it's really not that bad so let's go ahead and start creating some of our scenes all right two things before we really get into this number one if you don't know how to set up obs i do have my own video on how to set up obs and get you started so in case you're confused by this check that out first the description below and then come back to this secondly you do not have to use nested scenes for this to work you can use it and build your scenes inside of the vertical scenes regularly like you would with a regular scene and it won't matter or anything like that. If you wanna learn more about nested scenes, keep an eye on this channel. I will make a, a video on why you would want to do it and what the benefits are of having nested scenes. Until then, check out Nutty. Nutty is a fantastic person to watch. He has amazing reviews and he does a fantastic review. Again, link in the description below. And let's continue on with the uh, tutorial. Now also another tip with OBS, I highly recommend using nested scenes. If you guys don't know what nested scenes are, you can still do this without it, but I just recommend using nested scenes. Okay, so currently we have our gameplay set up right here on our screen. So what we're actually gonna do is we're now gonna create a vertical scene called gameplay to kind of mimic and recreate this one. Now, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and add your webcam. So now we can see it kind of pops in here. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit more room over here. So now we can see it pops in over here. Bam, there we go. And then also we're gonna go ahead and throw in our gameplay as well. Gameplay. 
And there we go. I mean, technically, it's set up the way that you want it to. You can literally add in anything else. So whether you have chats and things like that, you can also put them over here on the section, which is really, really awesome. Now, let's just say that you don't want to just play video games and sometimes you like to sit there and just chat with people on TikTok. Well, we can also make a just chatting scene. So let's go ahead and do that right now by adding a new scene. The first thing you want to do is hit this plus button underneath the vertical scenes, as again, it is going to be different scenes. Type in just chatting. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add this in face cam. Bam. Now, if you wanted to, we can go ahead and let's just say blow this up really large. So basically you treat this the exact same way you treat OBS. It's just its own scenes. Now, I know what you're going to ask. Can I get my vertical OBS to change with my horizontal OBS? The answer is yes. You can do it by linking the scenes together. I'm going to show you how to do that. So go ahead to your gameplay scene, right click it, hit link scenes, and then you want to find the scenes that are right here, which are your horizontal scenes, link it to gameplay. So now let's just say if I'm on just chatting and this is on regular gameplay, I can click on gameplay and it automatically switches that one, which is really awesome because that way if you want to have like a just chatting scene or something else, you don't have to have just a static scene or you don't have to worry about switching two different OBSs or creating multiple commands to go ahead in a stream deck to have it switch both scenes at the same time, it will automatically do that for you. Honestly, then this is pretty genius and super handy. Although we have a couple of our scenes set up, let's go ahead and actually set up the regular settings to stream on TikTok. So what you're gonna notice is that there is its own setting right over here for vertical settings, as well as you have a button here that says stream vertical, record vertical, and also backtrack clip vertical. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So go ahead and over to this cog where it says vertical settings and then click on it. Now, this is going to be where you can actually choose what your resolution is. So in case you want to downscale it to 720, because maybe your computer isn't as beefy as you'd like it and be able to handle that, you can do that. Then you can also go over here and change your bit rate. Now, I'm not sure what the actual maximum bit rate is, but keep in mind with bit rate, you are going to be using two separate bandwidths. What that means is that your ver your regular horizontal OBS is probably set anywhere from like 3000 to maybe 6000 or 5000, whatever it is, right? Let's just say it's 6000. And then for your vertical, you're also going to use another 6,000. That now means you're using an upload speed of 12,000 for a bit rate. So that means you need to have at least a minimum of 12 megabits per second upload. The way you check that is just going to do a speed test through Google, make sure it's a safe website. Or if you actually know what you're paying for through your subscriber, then you can go and do that. Luckily, I have fiber, which means I have one gig up. So I don't really have to worry about this. So go ahead and pick that. And then you can also choose your audio bit rate. Audio bit rate is kind of negligible whether you keep it at 160 or not. I mean, if you don't have a fast internet speed. Don't worry about changing it to 320. Just leave it at 160, which I think is default, which is plenty of fine. And then here you can always have either backtrack on or you can have it to where backtrack is running when streaming and recording. Now, basically what backtrack is, I'm going to dive a little bit more into this a little bit later, essentially is that when you hit this button to do a backtrack, it will record the last so many minutes or so many seconds of your stream. This is really awesome and I'm going to dive into that more, but go ahead and set this to whatever you want. I'm going to set this personally to two minutes because I do a dual PC stream. So I'm going to set that to two minutes. You can then choose where it's going to go to and then you can also do save backtrack hotkey. So make sure you guys put that to a hotkey that you don't use and then that way you can either tie it into your stream deck or you can just have a hotkey on your keyboard and then you can just backtrack whenever you need to. Now stream settings. This is going to be where you have to go into your OBS live menu. So the way you would do that is by going to browser, TikTok, which by the way, if you go to my TikTok and doesn't say following, you better change that. And then I usually, oh, and then we'll go to live center. Now on the left here, you should have live room, which by the way, if you don't have live room on your TikTok, then it means you don't have the ability to stream at least with OBS and stuff like that. So again, I don't know why TikTok doesn't tell you what you need to do to get a stream key, but I do know that the only for sure way to do it is with a agency representing you, which Pipeline was representing me. Other than that, I don't know. You gotta get lucky apparently, it's a lottery. <laughs> so anyways, what you would do is you would hit go live, pick what you're gonna stream. So once you actually hit live now or save and go live, it's gonna populate your server URL and then your stream key. Keep in mind, your server URL stays the exact same. Your stream key will change every single stream. So you will have to copy and paste this every single time when you do this. So keep in mind, we would then take the server and post it into the server area and then take the stream key and then paste it into the stream key area. You can set up hotkeys for starting and ending stream. I would never do that just because accidents happen. So 
but I digress. And then for recording, in case you want to just record vertical gameplay and that's it, then you can go ahead and choose your path to do that. That's all. Once we're done setting these up, just click OK and we're ready to go. So now technically at this point, if you did that correctly, all you have to do is to hit stream vertical and you're good. You can just stream vertically now without having to worry about running two versions of OBS. And again, in my testing, I found that this ran way better than using either a second version of OBS or even another version of like Live Studio, which Live Studio is <laughs> that thing you need a dual PC to run. It is a hog and a half. So now I know what you're thinking. It'd be really, really cool to go ahead and clip your content vertically and not have to worry about reformatting it. They thought of that and they made it super easy to do that. So that's what this whole backtrack clip vertical is for. It will only clip this portion of your stream. So whatever is showing here, it will automatically clip it and then bring it over into that file. So then that way you can either hand it off to an editor, you can just trim it down to what you need to and then just throw that up on TikTok or shorts and you can create a vertical reel super simple just by doing that. I still recommend doing stuff like intros and like graphics and stuff like that, but this at least gives that barrier of entry a lot lower in case you don't know how to do that. Now, another really cool thing about this, being able to record just this portion or record how this is set up, is that personally, whenever I stream, like this is what my screen looks like right here. You see this, how it's like rounded edges and it's vertical. Like that looks really cool for a horizontal stream, but unfortunately, when you go on TikTok, it makes it a lot harder to adjust because you kind of have this weird dead space to the left and the right of your webcam when you're doing that. So I can actually have my webcam completely different in my ver horizontal screen like this, and then I can have my webcam over in my vertical like this, where it's just regular, and I can actually like clip it by itself. Personally, I feel like that is a really neat feature that they didn't say anything about because a lot of people like to have a drop shadow, a weird shaped webcam or something like that for their regular horizontal streams. And being able to clip it in a vertical native area like this to where you don't have to worry about moving it or being, you know, not enough space and having to add like a background blur to the sides. Like it's just so much easier to keep it this way. So this is actually a really awesome feature that I really love. And again, that's my favorite part. The fact that I can have a vertical webcam in my regular stream, but then I can have a regular full size webcam whenever I'm doing my verticals, which is awesome in my opinion. So all you have to do is literally just click this and then it will backtrack for however long you set. So again, if you set it for one minute, it'll backtrack for a minute. If it backtracked for 30 seconds, it's gonna get you 30 seconds of that backtrack, which is awesome. Now keep in mind, I do believe, and I haven't actually looked into this because I'm trying to get this video out as fast as possible, but I do believe backtrack will take up a bit of system resources. So if you do have a slower PC or not up to date, or you're not running a dual PC, just keep that in mind that if you're like, I'm gonna set it for 10 minutes, well, your computer might not be able to handle that. So do, do a couple tests. I would say at least maybe a minute or two minutes would probably be the perfect area. And I'll have to do some testing and let you know how that works out, but that's what I recommend doing. And that's all you guys have to do to set this up. I'm literally giving up the stream effects tools so I can actually use this because I think it's that much easier. And again, it was way lighter on my PC. Even though I run a dual PC setup, it's nice to know that I'm using 30% of my resources or lower, which is kind of crazy when you're talking about dual streaming because when I did it with the regular TikTok Live uh, Studio, it was taking up like 50 to 60% of my usage. And then whenever I was using two versions of OBS, it was bouncing between 30 to 40%. Now, when you're talking about running this on a single PC and doing a gaming at the exact same time, having that extra headroom is extremely important. So huge kudos to these guys for creating this. This is awesome. We're gonna jump back over to the regular head-on talking portion and uh, close this out. Back to you, past B Poller, future, I forget how that works, but back to you. And that's literally it. So if you guys have actually followed this tutorial through correctly, you should be able to stream to both platforms at the exact same time, which is fantastic. And you should be able to use Backtrack to be able to record your clips, which is another amazing feature that makes your life so much easier as a creator because who wants to take the next step and put that into certain vertical formats and stuff? I don't. If you guys find this video to be helpful, please make sure to give it a like. It really helps me out with the algorithm and it's absolutely free to do. If you guys have any questions about this tutorial, please make sure you guys leave it in the comment section down below. And if you guys want more videos like this and how-to tutorials and also tech reviews, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I also create a lot of those on my TikTok and other platforms as well. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and have an amazing time streaming to two platforms at once with one version of OBS. That's nuts. <laughs> have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.